Okay, today got the G-Code uh, review. A couple of items that I picked up. Wanted to kind of review these for you guys. Let you guys get an idea of exactly uh, exactly what this is. And uh, kind of pass judgment on it for yourself. Um, this is the G-Code RTI Mule platform. I absolutely love it. Saw this after watching a couple videos online. Saw Travis Haley rocking this thing on the uh, on the range and thought man I gotta have one saw this couldn't figure out for the life of me what the hell this was dug around for about two hours before somebody finally told me hey that's g-code had never heard of the company so this is the g-code belt slide if you wonder what this is you'll see it in the video uh, Travis Haley I believe has teamed up with g-code or tactical holsters and, uh, and has come up with a pretty neat setup RTI mule this is multicam. Uh, start with the basics. Fifty-nine dollars, um, twenty-nine dollars. It was an extra twenty bucks because of this uh, this multicam. I think it's it's pretty as all get out, but uh, completely unnecessary. I just did it because I had a little extra money. And I wanted to see what it looked like. Oddly enough, it's fabric, and it's kind of glued on. Um, it will not come off. I've tried to pull the corners up on it. Man, this shit is on here. So it's not going nowhere. Uh, I don't even think you could cut it really and mar it and make it look bad. I mean, it's definitely quality work. It's on there. It's not going to go anywhere. Um, but it is just a fabric that's glued to the Kydex, I believe, while it's hot. Looking at the back of it, um, that's what the OD green would look like. Real heavy stitching and webbing. you got the RTI adapter plate right there. Um, just an outstanding uh, quality piece at the RTI wheel uh, right here. Kind of go into how that works here in just a minute. But all in all, great piece of equipment. Heavy, heavy webbing uh, for the leg rig, and on the inside it's got rubber. Two uh, rows of rubber so it will hang on to you and won't slide all over the place. So the question is, is why go with this one over going with, you know, say a Safari Land or whatever? Um, in a couple of years that I've been uh, really, really into the tactical gear and just kind of reviewing it, looking at it, and playing with it, um, I have found uh, that that I would much prefer to have a, a leg rig that is high as opposed to low. Most of you guys uh, will probably agree. Um, being a SWAT op operator's background for a couple of years, um, I discovered real quick, real quickly when you're out there doing a deal and you take off running. First thing that happens on a standard leg rig is the bastard goes to flipping around to your groin. Before you know it, you're, you're dry humping your gun while you're running. And that is a pain in the ass, to say the least. I couldn't stand it. I hated it. I always swore to myself I'd either never wear it or find a better way to do it. Well, I have found a better way to do it, and it's right here. Um, this thing rides extremely high. It's more like a cross between a, a hip holster and a, and a thigh holster. It's probably only a couple inches lower than where I'm used to carrying my pistol every day, which is right on my right side, um, which makes it extremely high. When you take off running, this thing does not go anywhere. I mean, it is, it's glued to your damn leg. So one of the best things about it is even if you get to moving, crawling, rolling, jumping, it stays where it's supposed to stay. It doesn't go anywhere. Uh, the mounting platform... Pretty revolutionary setup. It's called the RTI wheel. This particular wheel here, if you just imagine this being gone and off of it, you can take this wheel, you can mount it under the dash of your car, you can mount it on your wall, you can mount it in your glove box, wherever the hell you want to mount it. Um, and as long as the back of your holster, whether it's Safari Land, Blackhawk, or whatever, and they make adapter plates so you can pull the stock hardware off of a Blackhawk or Safari Land, mount this, and it will then flip or clip into here um, and mount to the RTI wheel. So they make a, a, a kind of a proprietary mounting bracket that will fit to each one of those those brands of holsters and mount to the RTI wheel. Pretty simple how it works. You pinch these two clips together um, right here and you can see that it slides over, that unlocks it. You're ready to lock it back. You slide your holster into those, those grooves there, slide it over and it's locked in place. It doesn't go anywhere. Um, this is the uh, belt slide adapter. Now this holster comes, or this, this thigh panel, comes in three different adaption, adapters up here. It'll have your standard uh, webbing with the loop, and then it'll, it'll Velcro into the back here. They've got that one. They've got one more, and then they have this one. 
Um, this is just the one specifically for mounting into another RTI wheel, which is this. I chose to go this way because I wear a standard webbing belt, um, like a rigger's belt, usually when I'm training, and I wanted to be able to slide this, which is the belt slide, uh, over my belt, and then I would just simply take, put that in there, slide it down, lock it in place, and there you have it. It's all set up nice to go, or uh, good to go, and, uh, and a very nice piece. And because of how short it is, you can see it's, it's pretty damn short. I mean, most of them, I know the thigh holsters I've used, you know, they've got a really long piece of webbing right here, which drops that down to your mid-thigh area. And again, this rides right around, you know, if I stand up and put my arms at my side, my palms are right on my gun. So not much lower than what I'm used to carrying it every day. So that's why I really, really liked it. Um, again, pretty cheap. Uh, I think it was $59, $29. Um, and then the holster, I think, is uh, $49. Uh, and does, it, you know, pretty well on the price way cheaper than most of the other setups that I've seen. Uh, good quality on this um, on the belt slide adapter. This stuff's really thick. I mean you're not going to break it. You're not going to tear it up. Real thick nice kydex and, uh, and it'll stay around for a long time. And honestly guys unless you're wanting to drop the money to have the multicam um, like I did just to kind of screw around just to see what it looked like. I was I was ultra surprised to find out that this is fabric, but uh, it doesn't matter. It's, it's not going to be a quality deficient item. It, it, it works well. But unless you need to, just go with the green. You can see the green. Very deep olive colored green, kind of a gloss. That's what it would have looked like on the front. So save your money. Just go with an OD green or a tan, something like that. Um, you know, unless you wanted to. And of course that's your choice. But to conserve 20 bucks, my advice would be to just go with this color right here. It's going to look just as good. Um, great piece of, of equipment, man. You're not going to have any problems with it whatsoever. I would, uh, I'd highly recommend it. G-Code um, has another pretty neat setup. Kind of get my vest over here. This is called the Molly Adapter. And again, another outstanding piece of property or, or piece of uh, gear to work with. Um, piece of property using my lingo there uh, piece of gear to work with I uh, I've, I've played with this one and I absolutely love it you can see it's real thick at the top goes into this molly webbing really really good and is in down here at the bottom it's real easy to mount in it doesn't you don't have to stretch your molly or anything out it's got a pretty neat little system here where you can move this up and down to get your to get it in there and once you tighten it down it will not go nowhere and pick the whole vest up and this vest weighs quite a bit by just that wheel so it's very 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 sturdy works out well and as you can see it's real thick the plastic's real thick this gives you a pretty interesting option if you've got RTI set up on just about all your equipment um, you know if you're running and you really quickly need to move that holster from your thigh and move it up to your chest it's 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 literally quick as just a couple snaps. Snap it, pull it off, stick it up on your chest, lock it in, you're good to go. And uh gives you another nice mounting platform. Now this could be moved from here to, you know, say a battle belt. They use these for the battle belts. If you're running a battle belt with Molly webbing on the side and it's a, a belt around your waist, you'd just lock this in and you know, say you could move it back and forth from a thigh holster to a battle belt. And I believe this was nineteen bucks. So Really good all-around value um, for the item that you're getting. So I'd uh, I'd highly recommend G-Code products, man. I, I can't um, I can't say enough good about them. They're they're really really good working with law enforcement, military. They give discounts. Um, so when you call up there, just be real real sweet to them and uh, tell them you love their stuff. And if you do anything as far as uh, public service for for a living, let them know. They're pretty proud that uh, that we're calling up buying their gear. So, anyway, just want to do a quick review on these uh, these couple items, and uh, kind of let you guys know what I thought about it. And I would highly recommend them. And I'll as soon as I get the, uh, I think it's the XST holster in, I'll do a kind of review on that. Uh, I'm ordered mine for a Glock 35, and it'll be here probably in another week. Oh yeah, and the time on these, 
getting just about any products from G-Code is going to be about three weeks. So if you want it, make your order, and uh, you'll have it in about three weeks. All right, guys, Sidewinder, I appreciate your time. God bless. Y'all have a good day.